All right, so first thing you're gonna need is your toolbox, one dollar. Link will be in the description. Download my PDF file showing this cutout trace that I made. Um, we're gonna be just cutting out here and here. Don't worry about this outside border edge. Okay, you'll need a pair of scissors. Um, you'll need tape. Um, you can cut this out using a jigsaw, but I prefer my little needle cutting tool. And you can cut out the other portion of it with a little high-speed Dremel or um, even a hacksaw. But this is what I'll be using. So we'll get started. First thing you want to do is cut this out. straight. Alright, now we're going to cut the border out. And you'll see here in a minute why I put the border. Alright, so there we have it. Now one thing to note this hole here is the top of your garment, this area here. So you want to align this correctly. When you look at the box here, what I want to do is use, I don't want to use this lock in, I want to use this end. You can use this side, so whichever you prefer, um, that's how you're going to line up your paper, which is basically going to go like this. This is already a gap for the edge of the garment. So let's proceed. Okay, so the first thing I do is I take tape. So what you want to do is get the inside portion of it, which is the critical part. second half here yeah okay all right so now we're going to line it up as straight as you can This is going to hold everything in place while you get it cut. Like I said, this is going to be the top edge, so go by this screw hole here. Okay. Now, one thing you might want to do is just go ahead and remove this. Easier said than done. But yeah, they may break, so. Okay. We don't need that edge anymore. So I'm going to remove this. 
this decal. Alright, now, um, since I am going to use the holes, we're going to go ahead and drill these. So voila, get your trusty little drill. I'm going to use a pilot drill so I can get it really close to center. Just try to get as close as you can to center. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, you want to use a 1 8 inch drill. The screws are metric, but this will work. Alright, so now we're going to begin the cutting. Let me get this set up. It's going to get a bit noisy, but... Now what you want to do is mark out your line. I'm going to use this as a guide here. Okay, so going from here it's a little less than five inches or in fifteen sixteenths. So we're gonna use the same measurements here. All you gotta do is be close. So we're going to make the same cut right here, only up to this edge. Alright, now what you want to do is get some sort of straight edge. We're going to use it to draw a line. To make our cut. The 
see anything on this side. that cut Now we're going to make this cut. And that's it. We basically already have our cover. Now we're just going to remove the tape and clean it up a bit. Get your exacto and just start running it around the edge here and just clean it up. Let's go get the diamond. We'll try it out. Okay, so we got our Garmin. And I'm going to talk about these little screw inserts in, behind it. That's what I'm going to use to mount this housing to it. If you notice the little screw holes there, how they line up. Now, before we do that, I want to talk about these little metric screws, okay? Uh, they look a little long, but on purpose. I use vacuum tubing like this here and I cut these little stem washers out of them. And basically what they're going to do is once you insert them and you tighten it down these are going to compress and keep this from backing out. Of course it's going to hold this on here. So what I'm going to do first is start them on there. Get one started. It'd be the easiest way to do it. Okay, I got that one started. I'll start the second one. And that's it. She's on there. Good to go. No problem fitting on here. Can't wait to try it out.